There are three sections in the briefing strip. This procedure's primary navigation source is localizer with DME. When you see an identifier like this, it starts with an I, that means it's a localizer. The frequency of the localizer is 111.75. The underline means no voice capability on that frequency. The TAC in channel is 54. Y is the mode. The final approach course is 050. This is the length of the payment you're landing on, but keep in mind if there's a displaced threshold, your usable distance may be significantly less. Touchdown zone elevation refers to the highest elevation of the runway in the first 3,000 feet. Airport elevation is the highest elevation of all the usable runways. The T and the A in the notes box, the T is telling you there's takeoff minimums. The A means non-standard alternate minimums exist. The text in this box contains procedure notes, equipment notes, and requirements. Next is the approach lighting system information. This is the ALSF or approach lighting with sequence flashers. The missed approach procedure is written out here. You can also see a pictorial description down here. And this last line is the communication information. If it exists for an airport, ATIS or ASOS will be here. And when arriving at an airport, you usually use the frequencies from left to right. This means controller pilot data link communications. And what that means is appropriately equipped airplanes can receive their clearance from ATC over text through the FMS. There are also two frequencies for the same facility. One is VA UHF for civilian use, one is UHF for military use. So there you have it, a briefing strip information and what it all means. Thanks for watching.